All right, guys. So I have the distinct pleasure of sitting here with a good friend of mine, a longtime member, Eric Linder. Um, he started with us uh, probably what, Eric, about four years ago? Yeah, four yeah. years. Our original location in, in Yorkville. Um, and just recently, a little bit over two months ago, he took us up on the uh, nutrition coaching that we're offering. So that's what we want to talk about today. Um, so, Eric, how long have you been working on trying to drop 10 or 15 pounds on your own? Even before I started here, I right. was always trying to get back to the lower weight, and it has been pretty much, I've, I've been stuck. Yeah, so um, it's been a journey, right? There, Eric had a number that he wanted to get to, a body composition that he wanted to see, um, and he'd been working on it on his own for a long time, right? And um, again, he's been a member here for a long time, and I don't doubt his hard work. I see Eric in the gym four to five days a week working very, very hard when he comes in. So there was no question there, but what was happening was on his own, he wasn't getting to where he wanted to get to. Um, over the course of the last 10 weeks, um, with some nutrition coaching, what this represents is about six pounds of body fat. So if we take this and pull it off of Eric, there's one time, take this, pull off Eric, there's two, just shy of three times. We're somewhere between 15 and 17 pounds of body fat gone. Again, we talk about body fat because it's body composition. I don't want to just lop off Eric's arm and say, cool, Eric, you're 10 pounds lighter. And cool, let's get the other arm, now you're 20 pounds lighter. That, that, that doesn't work very well. Um, we want to remove body fat and obviously keep vital uh, organs and limbs along the way. So we want to talk, uh, talk a little bit about the nutrition coaching and what it is because a lot of people have questions. A lot of people think, hey, I can do it on my own. And Eric's a great example of he tried on his own. Um, we were doing some in-body readings. You know, but he, he was just having a hard time doing much more than just a uh, holding pattern, right? Kind of staying around the same weight or slowly gaining a little bit. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, it wasn't until we started doing the one-on-one -on -one that it actually really started to work. Um, following the nutrition, I mean, the My Fitness Pal is key. I mean, yep. getting in there, inputting everything, really tracking. And I wasn't doing that before. Yep. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to basically ask Eric a couple questions about the program. And, um, you know, he's just going to honest uh, answer as honest as he can for us. So the first thing I want to ask is, you know, Eric, did I ask you anything that was extreme, anything that was crazy, that was outlandish? No. No, right? So we didn't say, hey, Eric, come on in and row for an extra two hours. And while you're at it, throw in a rubber jacket. And um, here's the two foods that you can only eat, um, cabbage and pink lemonade, right? We hear all these wild, wild things of what you have to do to lose body fat. That's not the case. And if you're doing something super extreme, how long are you going to really want to do that? And are you going to be able to do that for the long term? So what we teach and what we help you guys do is, Eric, other than maybe a few small tweaks, did I say you can't have that food or, you know, stop that? No. No, no for, the, for the most part, we helped Eric take what was already um, the framework of his nutrition, make some changes into maybe the amounts of things he's eating. Um, and really the biggest thing was paying attention and tracking what he was eating. Um, that was the big game changer for him. And notice the key word in there is change. You have to you have to be able to change at least a little bit. Um, as we're going through, are you learning things? Is do you think that, hey, when we decide, hey, Eric, you're good to go? Have you learned enough on your own to be successful? Uh, I think so. I mean, now I have the tools at least to understand. And the big thing is when you're making the choices early in the day, when I'm kind of mapping out what I'm going to eat. You know, it's like you can look at your two different choices and say, I can either eat you know, this and get this amount of nutrients out of it. So the choices are just, you know, more well thought out. And that's really, I think, what's led to most of the success. Great. So, you know, what I'm getting from that is Eric is learning that to drive the body composition change he wants, he actually has to pay attention to the food he's eating. So he's learned that along the way that if he just mindlessly eats, he's probably not going to get to where he wants to be. Um, you know, so the next thing we want to talk about is, you know, was it worth the cost? This is not a free service. You know, we, we charge for this because we have time invested. We're checking in on you. Um, you know, for the cost of it, Eric, do you, was, do you think it was worth the cost? Absolutely. All right. Um, I tell people all the time, this is tax return season, right? People get a, a check back. How many people have gone out and bought a TV or, or, you know, booked a vacation? And there's nothing wrong with that, but could you invest in your own health and, you know, maybe getting your body composition to where you want it to be, you know, that you wanted that for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Um, you know, the cost of that, I think, is, is definitely worth it. Um, Eric, this was probably the easiest thing you've ever done. You didn't have to work hard for it, right? It was just overnight success. No, that's not true. I, I can't say that. It was definitely, uh, 
there were some sacrifices along the way, different times when I would want to eat certain things. And but if you if you want to get to the goal, you've got to stick to the plan. So that's you know it, it definitely wasn't easy. But as we, as I went, it did get, become a little bit easier, only because you learn you know what choices are the right ones as you as you go. So again, there has to be a little bit of work. It's not. You know, we're not magicians, we're not miracle workers, and we say this all the time. We will provide you with the information, we'll provide you with the framework, but at the end of the day, it comes down to you doing it and you adhering to the program, right? We could give you all the recommendations we want. We could check in on you 15 times a day, but if you're just reporting back the wrong things and not doing it, that doesn't work very well. Um, you know, one thing, too, to note is that Eric did this during the hardest time to lose, uh, to lose that body fat. We started in the beginning of December, which means that he's managed to lose, you know, that 16, 17 pounds of body fat through the course of Christmas, through the course of New Year's, through the course of um, the Super Bowl, right? All those things that have eating tied into it. So I think that speaks a lot about Eric and how dedicated he was to it, that over the really hard season to lose some body fat, he stayed true and, and did what he needed to do. So again, it's not easy, and we don't promise that. That's, that would be a lie if I said, guys, this is really easy. It's not easy. You have to do some work. Um, you know, and again, getting back to it, it's worked very well. Um, it's a systematic uh, process that we use, guys, and it works if you do the work. So what I wanted to do was, again, just bring in somebody that you guys may be familiar with, maybe you've never seen him, and just kind of highlight his success using the coaching that we offer here. Um, because I know some people, you know, we're running the challenge. Some people are like, I can do it on my own. I can do it on my own. If you have that, I can do it on my own mentality, and you're not doing it on your own, and you're just spinning your wheels, and you're looking at the same numbers again and again and again, then it might be time to sit down and talk to a coach and see if a coach can help you to get to where you want to. So again, uh, my hat's off to Eric. He's done phenomenal. Um, he's about to go on a vacation. We just had a nice sit-down meeting talking about that, talking about he's going to go and enjoy himself, but he's going to stay on track. He's not going to dig a super deep hole for himself so when he comes back that we've got a ton of extra work to do. Um, and that's one of the things that when we work with you guys is that we are realistic and understand that everybody's uh, situation is obviously a little bit different. So hopefully that helpfully or hopefully that helped you guys understand nutrition coaching a little bit more, show you that it does work and it works very well. And if you have questions, please reach out to us at info at CrossFitMallockValley.com. All right, guys. Thank you.